In this video, I'd like to show you a roll stretch technique to help you soften all of this part of the upper forearm muscles. I hold way too much tension there because I spend too much time on a keyboard. And this is a very effective technique to help me relax that, that part of my forearm. The equipment you'll need is a firm, sturdy stool. You'll see why in a moment and a ball. Now we have a huge number of balls in our facility here. This is just a simple, fairly firm, single ball. Um, you might want to get a much harder ball, such as a lacrosse ball. We also have a couple of other ones that I've been playing with. This is a half ball, um, it's a massage tool. And this is a jewel ball. And this in many ways is the most effective bit of kit. We're based in Australia and we still have Kmart as a retailer here and they have a fantastic range of tools like this. Uh, very inexpensive, I think this was $6 or something like that. And I know that you can get these online all around the world. Um, the place that we go to in Singapore has this particular bit of kit, so have a look around. You could use a golf ball, any firm ball is what you're after. So let's get into it. I'll show you first just with a simple ball, that you'll all, a single ball, you'll all be able to find one of those. So put one leg up onto your firm stool and the arm that you're going to work on, you're just going to do one at a time. You're going to brace the back of the elbow somewhere on the inside of the leg there. You can bring it right in towards the hip joint if that's a bit more stable, secure for you. To begin with, have the elbow not quite fully straight. So all of that is actually quite relaxed to begin with. Then you're going to place the ball in and you're going to get your body behind so that you can really drive the ball in to those tissues. You can move them around a little bit, find some super sensitive spots. It might all be super sensitive. And then play with straightening the elbow a little bit more and then flexing it again, straightening and flexing. Feel how straight you can get the elbow with the ball still pressing all the way in there. The leg that I've got up on the stool here, I can drive that into the arm and that's providing another force, so pushing in from two directions in other words. And then this right arm, the one that I'm working on, then I'm going to add a wrist flexion and rotation as well. So as I internally rotate, that winds on a stretch in the same tissues that I am pressing into. And then you just play with moving around all different positions. Move the ball around. So there's two basic approaches here. One is to move the ball around the tissues, but I find that's quite taxing on this hand doing the work. It's more effective to find a spot, dig in with the ball, press in and then move the arm and wrist around. So vary the elbow angle and vary the wrist angle. Super effective at relaxing this part of the upper forearm. Give that one a go.